we have listened to the view of Kenyans and we are all in agreement that there are two things that we must do. One of them is that we need to protect Kenyans from increased cost of living and therefore the proposed 16% VAT on bread has been dropped. <laughs> to support again on uh, reducing the cost of living, we are doing something about uh, vegetable oil so that we do not make it expensive for Kenyans. Transfer of mobile services is a key concern to many Kenyans and therefore again we have proposed that we do not have any increase on taxation or mobile phone transfer. We have seen uh, in the recent past the, the proposals that you've made on such deductions on shift and housing levy has added a loan on especially on salaried Kenyans and therefore we have proposed that those such deductions now be allowable to pay so they will not be an additional pay on those. We all agree that environment conservation is a key concern. The fact that you've had a drought and a few months uh, of floods and our drainage uh, uh, clogs, we have agreed that we need to make a good decision about how to protect our environment. And that is what the wisdom on the introduction of eco levy. However, imposing this on locally manufactured goods would again increase the cost of those locally manufactured goods in the country and stand a risk of making them not competitive in the East African market and globally. Therefore, this eco levy will only be chargeable to imported finished products. And therefore, all locally manufactured items, and especially including diapers and sanitary towels, will not be subject to eco levy. We must make sure that we become a manufacturing country and not a trading country. And therefore, the imposition of this only on imported finished products makes our locally manufactured products more marketable to the, uh, not just reducing the price, but also making them affordable uh, to even export. On the VAT threshold, we, pro we have proposed in our amended report to increase that VAT threshold from 5 million shillings to 8 million shillings. Therefore, small and medium, term, uh, small and medium enterprises that have turnover of less than 8 million shillings do not therefore have to register for VAT. On ETIMS, we have had uh, farmers, avocado farmers being asked to, pro to give uh, ETIMS receipts. We've had mamambogas who do their supplies to hotels being asked to register for items. We have proposed that this, these people be given exemption on items registration, and, they, uh, and, and especially for those farmers and those small businesses that have a turnover of below one million shillings. We have had the conversation about eggs and onions and potatoes. So what you've done to protect our poultry farmers, our potato farmers in Nyandarwa and Molo, and protect our onion farmers, we have uh, proposed excise duty only on imported uh, table eggs, imported onions, and imported potatoes. This makes our, our, our onions, our eggs, and our potatoes more marketable to us and the region. To support the fight against illicit brews in the country, we have proposed a change in, in excise duty to changing it from a, a volume to, uh, to alcohol content. Therefore, those, um, uh, those alcohol manufacturers that are producing alcohol of very high content will now be required to pay higher duty uh, because based on the alcohol content and those uh, making alcohol of lower content now will pay less uh, duty. To support our pension contributions, because one day we'll all retire, we are now increasing the amount of uh, uh, taxable pensions from, uh, we are now increasing the amount allowable for tax exemption for pension contributions from 20,000 shillings to 30,000 shillings. So this is a big win for our pensioners. So we are moving our pension schemes to exempt, exempt, exempt. It is exempt at contribution and exempt when you receive uh, your, 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 um, your pension from 20,000 to 30,000. Yes, a month, per month. It's important to say this, per month. Uh, we have also been appraised of the money that is allocated for junior secondary school to hire all the intern teachers into permanent and pensionable uh, terms. 
and, and the number there is actually 46,000 shillings, uh, 46,000 junior secondary school teachers, in addition to recruit an, an additional 20,000. Your Excellency, we are, we are very happy that the proposals that were brought to the National Assembly and the ones that we are proposing to the House are two amended documents. Because, again, I repeat, the, ex the, the, the exercise we did on public participation was not an exercise in futility. On motor vehicle tax, in as much as we agree that there is need to have money allocated to maintain our roads, and those people that are using our road more and causing TNA on our roads should contribute more towards fixing those roads. We have agreed that the motor vehicle tax cannot be amended through an income tax act and, and also pegging it on insurance would make would cripple the, the, the insurance business and make it very difficult, especially for those Kenyans who take that part of insurance, and therefore that proposal has been dropped. Oh yes, sugar transportation. Yes, uh, in addition, there was a concern about transportation of sugar uh, from the milling factory uh, uh, to, to, to the farms, and therefore, uh, to, to the sugar cane. Sorry, we have listened to the concerns about the, the transfer of sugar uh, sugar cane from the farms to the milling factory, and people are asking why sugar cane and why not coffee, and why not tea? Sugarcane is very bulk, and therefore the largest cost in the processing of sugarcane is actually on transportation, unlike most other crops. And that is why we have recommended to remove VAT on transportation of, 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 of sugarcane from the farms to the milling factories. It, for the mobile phone, I, I did mention that, that mobile phone transfer services, uh, has been, uh, uh, we have not increased that, it still retains at 15%. The concern about foreign, foreign, foreign exchange um, um, transactions, the concern about transferring banks, that the status quo remain, no additional taxes have been increased on that particular side.